In this video, we will see about the grouping the queries. Then we will see some of the ordering of the columns, like moving the columns from one place to another. Then also we will see some of the sorting features, means how we can sort different columns and how that looks like. Uh, so this is we are going to see in this video. First of all, let's uh, see the queries. So in this uh, project, as of now, we do have four queries, uh, the three original queries and the fourth one, which is combined one. However, when we uh, have a large project, we have multiple queries and uh, there we need some grouping of the queries so that it will be helpful for us uh, to organize the queries and uh, to uh, design the data in a query data. For that, we can do this. Just right click on this and here we can just make it as a new group and uh, we can give the name something like that initial queries. So a new folder gets created and then we can just move it, uh, move the queries from here to here in this folder. This is the way we group the queries in a single folder. Uh, this is helpful for us to organize the queries much better and to use the data very effectively in the query editor. Now the next thing is sorting of the columns. Basically, when we see some of the columns which is uh, which are here, uh, let's say means if you wanted to sort this, uh, the how to sort this. Um, we don't have any options available in the transform menu for sorting. Uh, if you can see in the transform or when we right click on this, we don't see any options here available here. But to, to sort any column, just click on here and there is an option of sort ascending and descending. Let's say uh, I am just uh, I would I just wanted to sort uh, descending. Just click on this. And it will take some time to uh, sort it. Now, this data is sorted with the year. You can see the highest uh, here is uh, appearing at the first row. Now, this is the first row we have uh, sorted. We can sort by other columns as well. Uh, let's say means we will just try to sort it uh, with the country. Uh, let's make it as a sort ascending here. Now, this is the way it is sorted. The country column is also sorted. Now, you can see when we apply the multiple sortings, uh, there is a digit appear, will appear means the first row will be year is sorted, then second is uh, country. So, if there are like four to five uh, columns which are sorted, then it will show up the numbers uh, in the column header so that it will be helpful. So this is one of the good thing which is Power BI Desktop is showing and it is very he helpful for us uh, to get the sequence of the sorting. This is one thing which is we uh, can do uh, this way. Uh, there is another thing which is uh, suppose we have uh, these columns which uh, doesn't feel uh, ordered. So we can just move it this uh, like this means to uh, the left or like this. Suppose we wanted to uh, move this column to the left, then this way we can do it or there is another option in the transform menu where move, uh, we can say left, right or to the beginning or to the end. Let's say to this. This is this is ordering of the we can uh, select uh, two columns at once and then also we can move it to uh, to right or left together. So these are the things which are we have done till now means we have just ordered so that it will be helpful for our next videos. That's it. Uh, I wanted to show in this video. We will see in the next video about the theory section about the star schema which we are going to use in our project and uh, that uh, we will see in your next video. I hope you have understood this. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in comment section. 